Hello, this is Mitch King with the Tuesday morning, March 2nd, 2010 Daily Stock Report. Here's the Dow 30 for Monday. And we closed up about three quarters of a percent for the Dow 30, and we're approaching that resist short term resistance level we talked about to look for. Looks like we're about to break through, and if we do break through this fairly soon, this paves the way for the market to continue to move up. It's more likely that we do that breakthrough here this this week and then have a little bit of a correction and then we'll see the next level if we continue to move up past that and go above that January 19th high that we've been talking about previous to for the next level of resistance. So the market's got a little work to do that. As usual, the market continues to worry about different things like Greece and economic reports and unemployment and on and on. NASDAQ Composite had a big move today, up 1.6% after the Semiconductor Industry Association said they're up 47% over a year ago. Sandix also reported a higher forecast, so their stock was up 13% today. So this clearly busted through their February highs, and we're approaching that one for the January highs. So there was the high right there. And now we're looking for this to approach and go through that. So we would prefer that to happen so that the bull run continues to move. That started last March 10th. S&P 500 here also moved through February's high, no problem. And so these are closer to breaking through that figure than the Dow. Let's cover a handful of stocks. Here's DTSI. And the stock moved up today, up as high as 33.19. We posted on the last report to consider selling today probably the high today, and we're likely to see this stock turn over like a typical bull short, or let's just call it a short because it has some of the ingredients of a bull short, but we're looking for a short on this the next couple of days, probably tomorrow's the right day. Don't get leveraged on that. Here's that AEA that was a concern that we were going to go through that high, the previous high. It didn't act really weak. It didn't turn over strong, so we went through that 650 level uh, set last Wednesday. So continue to monitor this as this moves up and really makes a clear top and with higher volume and accelerating volume. Here's the stock NUVA that you were alerted on an email separate from the daily stock report looking for a short. We think this could be a short in itself looking at this daily chart here as well as the intraday scalp that we gave you an alert today. Let's take a look at an intraday chart on this. We're looking at intraday chart for three minutes over a two days of history with the E-Trade Power, E-Trade Pro charting. And this doesn't really show you too much except the fact it did go over $42 today and closed at $40. So we did get that short scalp that we're looking for. Let's take a little closer look on that one. And you can see right here today's data, 42.21 closed at just about $40, went a little bit under it. We're looking for this to continue to move down. We'll probably get another good short scalp out of that tomorrow after it probably pops up a little bit at the opening, which is very typical. Just a little one that kind of the last suckers getting in there uh, long thinking that this is going to keep moving up. And, you know, sometimes we're the suckers too. But I'm trying to give you an idea how to handle this as a short that you hold over a period of days. And, of course, on your intraday scalping, you're going to look at these different indicators for your tops and your bottoms. Here's that new short DISCA Discovery Communications it's continuing down just looking for a quick short on this maybe thirty dollars not a lot of profit on this it's just a quick short. Here's that SUR also went down today looking for another quick short on this one for just a few days it's starting to head in the right direction for us. Here's TEF, Telefonica, looking for a longer term hold on this as long as I can hold it. So that means you're going to have to hold it longer since I tend to be a shorter term trader. But looking for this kind of direction into the mid to possibly the upper 70s. And that could take up to a month or two. And here's Toyota Motors. Not too worried that it's stalled a little bit. Still some leftover negativity, but looking for this to eventually make into the upper 70s and low 80s and that could take some weeks. It's not likely that we'll see that $71 figure we saw a couple times. Looking for this to gradually make its way up. Here's WellPoint WLP. Really interesting scalp today. 
on an intraday basis. Here's the daily chart that looks like we're still in a nice uptrend. Let's take a look at the intraday chart on this. Had a nice potential short. We really focused on the long side of it toward the end of the day here. And this is really what you're looking for. I think that was about a 1.7% scalp on the long side. Real typical. Nothing real sexy. Just a bread and butter trade. So you guys take care. You know the routine. Keep the odds in your favor. Wait for the good ones. Don't get leveraged. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Yeah.